Jehovah said to Moses, The children of Israel shall go on dry ground throughout the midst of the sea. Exodus 14, 15-16 Crossing the Jordan River 1. At the passage of the Red Sea, the waves fled before Israel. At the passage of the Jordan River, the flood was driven back out of Israel's sight. The Red Sea was God's way of power for bringing his people out from their slavery. The Jordan was his way of power for bringing them into the fullness of their blessings. In the one case, death in figure was passed through. In the other, death in figure was out of sight altogether. In the former case, resurrection power out of death was taught. In the latter, the Lord Jesus is passing through death and his entry into heaven and God's power in bringing the saints in him where he is. Now, when the believer is occupied with the second man, the Lord from heaven, power from on high is granted. It enables the eye of faith to see the greatness of his work, his resurrection and his ascension glories, and the sight of him prevents all barriers from being seen. The work of the Lord Jesus for his people is one work, the benefits of which are for all saints. When we recognize his ascension to heaven, we apprehend the greatness of his work. His position determines that of his people, who are seated in him where he is. He has borne the judgment upon the cross. Now he is risen, and in him his people are a new creation. We look upon our ascended Lord and exclaim, Truly there is no water in the Jordan for us. Christianity arises out of the death, resurrection, and ascension of the Lord Jesus Christ. The new creation is for us who are in him now in heaven. The way into the heavenlies, our Canaan, is through the Lord Jesus, risen from the dead and ascended into glory. H.F. Witherby The Lord is risen, the sanctuary is our place, where now we dwell before the Father's face. W.P. Mackay